Well, hello again, everybody. If y'all remember, uh, a while back I made a video showing how to put a regular thermostat on a diesel heater, on one of these little Chinese diesel heaters. Um, and that's what all of this box and the box that's behind the controller, that's what all of that stuff is. Now, it's a, a pretty contrived process and it's, uh, it works, but it's not, it's not for everybody and it has a lot of features not there that uh, something else does. Now, this right here, this little bitty remote is going to take the place of this and the relays behind here, the power supply, which I actually have unhooked now. It's going to take the place of all that. Uh, this is going to do the entire job of controlling this diesel heater. It does still use the control, the factory control. <clears throat> this is the Buick uh, CD thermostat. It's CD as in Chinese diesel heater thermostat. And it as you can see, it's got a little display on it. And it shows the temperature that it is. The temperature that this is set at. Along with one thing that really comes in handy for this is if you can see it. I don't know if you can make it out on the bottom. It says swing four. That is four degrees and what that means is that means that you have a four degree difference between kick on and kick off and that is fully adjustable this this thing is amazing it's completely customizable you you can change a whole lot of different options on this uh, you can even calibrate it if you feel that the temperature is off a little bit you can even calibrate it to be right on the money so yeah so what does it do okay what it does is it solves the biggest problem with these diesel heaters uh, it solves the problem of these things have a they do have a thermostat but it doesn't work like a regular thermostat what it does is you set the temperature at what you want and it will run on a higher speed until it gets your temperature up where you want it to be. And then instead of turning off, these heaters with just the control board itself, they just turn the speed down and they run on a low speed and it, uh, it just continues to run and run and run. And what that ends up doing is not only is it constantly pumping out heat, running these on low is not good for them. It will allow carbon to build up to the point that you will have to take your heater out of its location, disassemble it, clean it, and reassemble it because it will get carboned up really bad. You shouldn't have to do all that. Now, if you run it on high, it doesn't uh, carbon up as bad over years and years it probably will but it if you run it on high you have a whole lot less carbon and it will maintain the health of your heater the temperature will be stabilized by running it on high till you get warm enough shutting it down and starting it back when it cools back down well that's what this does it goes through a complete shutdown and start up sequence. Whenever the heater gets up to temperature, it will automatically shut the heater down and it will stand by and wait until the temperature drops below your set point. And then it will heat it up to the high set point. And between those four degrees or whatever you set it at, it will maintain that without constantly running. One more key thing about this that I really like 
is it's very very simple to pair this with your heater uh, you don't have to pair it directly with your heater you just have to steal the frequency from your remote if you have one of these by the way it only works with heaters that have this style remote so if you're watching this and you've got the different style remote it won't work with that you may be able to get another control board and another remote and swap them out and then it will work as long as you have this this type of remote now all you do i've already paired it with it but i'll i'll do it again just to show you now all you do these that top and bottom button you push those and it goes into a settings menu and you'll want to go to the second page and okay i don't know if you can see that but it says clone remote so what you will do is you'll select that and now it's waiting for the on code that is the on button on your on your remote control here push that up i waited too long I'm waiting for on code on code received i just heard my heater come on too off code off code received <laughs> yeah it just okay now it was successful i hope it was in shot when it did that it was successful i heard my heater come on and off <laughs> real quick but see that's all you do it just that easily you've got it paired to your heater that is very nice then you just push your top and bottom buttons again to get back to your regular screen another thing that this does is it has schedules you can schedule the heater to come on and off it's got uh time one and time two i still don't know if that's really adjusting for that but time three and time four so you can actually have four separate instances of your heat coming up going down but then you can have it scheduled to where when you're going to get back from your hike or from whatever if you went to work or whatever before you get back you can have the heater automatically come on and it will bring the temperature up to where you're comfortable so yeah that is a very nice feature the company that sent this to me they have a video on youtube that explains how it all works uh, and i'll put a link to a couple of their videos and i'll also put a link to their website showing where you can get this uh let me show you okay here's their website i'll put a link to it this website tells all about it you know there's a little remote and it's got all the information and all that kind of stuff but yeah you can get them with or without a battery see this has a battery in it that's how i'm holding it with no cord going out of it but you can get these with no battery where you just plug in a cord and it stays plugged in all the time um and they're a little cheaper like that but i think the portability of having the battery is pretty nice i think it's a very nice little device uh, the guys that came up with this uh, they're geniuses because uh this is the way to do it this contrivance right here i came up with <laughs> it's a workaround and it does it but it's um it's just not a good way to do it <laughs> it's too complicated this is simple it just plug and play and there you go and i mean i could show it working okay so now you can see here's the the original controller and here is the little thermostat and if i turn up the set point which is right down there 
it is a little hot in here right now it's a warmer day and i had the fire going a while ago so it's a little warmer but you can see after it gets up to 85 it's not kicking on yet because you have a four degree swing you got to keep going there you go now it says heating and you can see on the control the heater has started you can see the gold plug started and one thing that I, I do wish that this company would address and I feel they could do it pretty easily now as you can see this style of heater with this control it starts off on three that's heat three it has six heat positions so uh, I've got a couple of nails up here I can hang this on so if this is on three that's medium speed what I want or what I would like for this to do if you all can figure out a way to do it and I think the way to do it would be to capture the up button from this controller because as you can see as you push up it goes up so you have to push it three times in order to get it to six if this could be programmed and I'm sure the software is probably already there or the uh, capability is there it can probably just be done with software if they could set this up so that it would after it starts it would do the plus signal three times that would put it on high six or heat six that would have the heater up on high and like I said before running on high is a lot better on your heater that being said though it is already hot in here and I am going to turn the set point down I'll let you see it as I do it turn the set point down when it gets to 84 it turns off you can see it says off so that's pretty cool okay so overall I like this little remote uh, like I said there are a couple of suggestions I would have uh, for the makers of this if they were interested um, <laughs> One of them being the fact that this font, <laughs> I don't know if there's really anything that they can do about it. Probably not. But this font is very small. So for an old fart like me that needs bifocals to read, I mean, I can see it fine with my bifocals, but if I don't have my glasses on, there's no, I can see the big numbers, but the rest of it, I, I can't see so you know if there was any way to make the font a little bit bigger there's probably not it's fine it's it's not that big of a deal you just have to put your glasses on to see it um, another thing just a suggestion I wonder if y'all could put a sticker on the back with a QR code leading to the manual on YouTube that way if somebody's curious and uh, the only thing they have is this remote. All they got to do is flip it over. There's a QR code. They can just scan it and watch that video. And they can, I mean, it's an excellent video. It shows, shows everything about it. I mean, this thing, y'all check it, uh, check that uh, manual out that I'm going to put in the description. This thing does a lot. I guess, uh, I guess that's going to be my little review of it. And my opinion of it is I, I do like it. And I do appreciate the guys from Burek. I think that's how you pronounce it, Burek. Uh, I do appreciate y'all for sending that to me. And it will get uh, get used very much. Um, and as a matter of fact, <clears throat> my little invention back here, <laughs> it's coming off the wall. I'm not going to use that anymore because it, this works better. I like the portability of it. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's going to be about it for this video. I appreciate everybody watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.